morning guys with the winter coming and the uh, cold nights coming in uh, we're looking to change the uh, coolant on the TVR today and uh, to put some uh, antifreeze in it and uh, just get it ready for the for the cold nights really so let's have a look look at that dirty water yeah we're gonna have to Flush that out, that's for sure. Try looking at that, it does look like there is some pink antifreeze in it, but a lot of that is corrosion from the uh, cast iron block by the looks of it. I think we'll back flush from the from the other direction as well. Wash it up from the pipe at the bottom. Yeah, we'll back flush from the hose at the bottom, I think, as well. corrosion on this uh, metal tube so we'll uh, we'll give that a bit of a clean up and as if by YouTube magic the hose is refitted with nice brand new stainless steel hose clips finally uh, very kindly we got given some uh, stainless steel uh, hose clips from uh, zero clips in Birmingham uh, we'll put a link below as to where you can uh, get these Really nice quality, really weighty as well. Uh, the swirl pot seems to be one of the highest points on the engine. So I think what we'll do is take this hose off. We'll put the antifreeze in in here. Um, so I think I'll change those clips while I'm at it. There you go. And again, as if by YouTube magic. The clips are a little bit long on this one. Um, so we'll uh, we'll cut them back. I also want to change the colour of this swirl pot as well, but uh, that's, that's a job for next year now. So no uh, no great worries on that. It yeah, looks like there was probably some. Well, there was. Looks like there was some uh, leakage on this hose. So I think what we'll do is take this hose off, give it a clean up, and uh, put a new stainless steel hose clamp on there as well. Uh, yeah, I think we need to clean that up a bit. Um, actually, this really could do with a new hose on it. That is not great. So they will clean that out for today, but uh, we'll get a new piece of hose, ho new piece of hose ordered, and uh, get that fitted. That will. Uh, that won't have an impact on the antifreeze being put in because it's at the top of the engine anyway. So. It's not an issue. I've put the screw thread uh, at the bottom. And the reason for that is the only higher thing that I can see is the uh, throttle cable. So yeah, might be an idea just to keep that down there. You may impact the bonnet if you put the screw thread on the top. Quite close. Right, so we're going to put the antifreeze in here. Yeah, we'll put it in there. Okay, that was not a great idea, guys, because stupid me, I just realised the thermostat's closed, so it's not going to go down that pipe. 
so we'll start by putting some in the uh, um, swirl, swirl pot um, for a little tip here guys and I learned this from uh, uh, the Facebook group TVRS Enthusiasts if you're not a member go over and join really good uh, bunch of people over there uh, that swirl pot should not be full uh, I thought it should be but uh, and it kept leaking uh, but uh, apparently not only it's supposed to fill it at halfway or something so uh, just bear that in mind if you're new to these cars one of the things you'll need to do is to bleed the radiator so on the top of the radiator there's a bleed screw here just open it up and start it up and uh, get that to flow out Perfect guys, heat is running nice and hot, all the pipes are hot including the top hose. So the tip here is keep topping up that uh, swirl pot, bleed off the radiator over there, uh, rev the engine a little and it'll eventually come right for you. It only took about 10 minutes to, to bleed. Perfect. Thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe uh, any comments as well it all helps the uh, YouTube algorithm uh, I'll put a link below of the Facebook book uh, Facebook group I mentioned earlier uh, so uh, until next time take care